What's up guys, Wolf Gaming here, and today we're back at it with Evil Within, the assignment, DLC, right? So, uh, this will be episode 3, uh, we're gonna continue from last time. Last time, um, we was being chased by a creature, uh, we had a gun, we don't ever get to use it, and, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just another day in Evil Within. Sadness, despair, no more big booty bitch Samantha, she's gone, and, uh, yeah. Without further ado, let's get into this. Woof! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Yeah! Where, where you at? Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Oh look, you got food! Yes! It's me! God, you're so pretty! Alright, where am I going? Here? Yeah. I just got back into this. What the hell? What's with the music? Sebastian. What? Kidman. Joseph, wait. Oh, that no good. What the fuck am I defending myself with? Everything's so creepy and stinky. Uh, is there a ladder? No? Fuck, what's the point of being here? To put a piece in here. Yeah, just go down where we might die. Spaces. the fuck are those guys? Oh, 
Huh. I guess everything's fine. Okay. Please, there's a ladder here. No. Fuck. Every nook and cranny. These guys have fish hooks? What the fuck? <laughs> no, 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 no. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. So ugly, and this ass crack is out. <laughs> Get in! Get in! Look like you dodged the abortion hanger. I'm one hit to this guy.
I'm scared to make a move. But I, I, I have to do it. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Fuck that, I'm out. Oh, Ooh, one of these puzzles. I like these puzzles. Uh, boom. Damn. What was this? down, skip, what else you got for me, one, two, one last, alright, yes, all that for a piece of paper, yeah, was there any point in me coming up here?
nothing here. Alright, we're not going that way. No, that has to be something. Oh. Oh, come on, Rubik, please. Rubik, man. He did, did, did? Yeah, he did. Yeah, fuck you. You ain't shit. this what well, little on me What the fuck did I do here? Over 
over here. I don't know. Haha, <laughs> some bitch. Over here. Over here. Yo, bitch. Hey. <clears throat> hey. Come here. Come here. Hey. Hey. Come here. Where the fuck am I? Oh God. <laughs> Today was something truly surprising. <clears throat> he was one of the last groups of test subjects. Just another patient I expected to babble and maybe even die. Patient 105, Leslie Withers. Mm -hmm. Reuben had singled him out as a useless subject, but he must have known. He knew I would read his notes. What else was Reuben lying to me about? But this Leslie, he emerged cognate, calm, and able to report fully what he had experienced inside. His unique pathology allowed him to successfully navigate his STEM experience with little repercussion. They know nothing of his existence. But no doubt, he is the key. If we all share the consciousness, then with him, I too should be able to experience the stem, potentially even suppress the more unsavory aspects of it. With him, I can be the master of the very technology I helped create. Mobius will see my worth and let me rise even higher in their ranks. Why the fuck would you want to be with Mobius? Sound like a bunch of dickheads. Wee. 
Oh. Joseph, you're all right. You too, thank God. Any signs? Hey, about Joseph, how you doing? Maybe we can go back and look for him. No, I mean, let's just get out of here first, then we can worry about Sebastian. Can we open this gate? I doubt you and I are strong enough. <laughs> Joseph, watch yourself. I'll be fine. Quick, look around, see if there's another way out. I don't remember this happening in the fucking story. I, I remember I probably don't have much time. Look around for some way out of here. I have powers, Joseph. I can open doors with the light of God. Kit Kat! Okay, cat. How you doing, buddy? Come on. Yeah. Kit Kat. Hey, okay. What do you want to say to the viewers? Oh, she says she loves you guys. Or maybe she's sick of this place. I don't know. She's cool. Bye, Kitty. Alright, I, I heard you already. Huh? Sebastian? Fucking puzzles. I'm a genius. Doink. We've refocused the efforts of the other programs to support our research. STEM priority has seemingly overridden other departments' individual research. Chemical and botanical studies are focused now on temporary, priming subjects for their inevitable connection. Now that the prototype is up and running, experiments continue. Upon their return from STEM integration, patients are interviewed extensively. While their particular pathologies inform their experiences, there are commonalities. They all experience the same settings, the same occurrences. The world they inhabit becomes larger with every new visitor. This suggests that shards of each user's consciousness are left behind inside the STEM, creating a community. It's as if internally a new world is being built. Oh. Huh. What the fuck is the point of these things? Ah. Uh, I guess I already served my. Uh, this? Secret walls. No? Okay. Beach. Let me out. Going in. Losing focus, kid. I warned you about that. How could this place exist? I don't understand. What's happening in here? Ruvik knows you're here. He's feeding off you. Huh. But there are more important problems. Is she feeding like off my fear? That detective. Joseph isn't something to worry about. He doesn't suspect anything. He's expendable. How else do you want me to say it? Remove him. That's an order. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Killing Joseph? 
That's not gonna help me find Leslie. He can't be trusted. He'll turn on you. They all will, once they know what you're after. We told you. You're weak, kid. Hey. And you're disappointing us. Are you guys all right? We're all right. Sebastian. Whoa. Maybe we can lift this enough for Kidman to go under and open it from the other side. We're counting on you. <sighs> it's odd, though. Why would they catch you instead of just killing you? Maybe he didn't see me as a threat. He. Jesus! I know who you are. I'm not going to let you take him. You should have followed your orders, kid. The fuck? Joseph, I know we had our differences, but like... Come on, man. Remember the good times? Come on. I, I know you remember something. At least an awkward fart or something. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Why you laugh like that? <laughs> Come on, Joseph. <laughs> I know all about you, kid. I know who you are. I'll kill you. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Kidman! I don't know where he's at, and I'm afraid to come out of the bed. <laughs> Joseph? Joseph, come on, buddy. Don't be a coward. Found you. Ah! You couldn't have gone far. Why are you laughing like that?
<laughs> Stop it! Oh, shit! <laughs> Come on, man. I don't know where to find another axe. I do that now. Yeah, go away. Fuck off, bitch. I'm gonna go find another X. Yo, just like in the story, man, you're a shit shot. There you are. What? Show yourself. Come and kill me if you can. You sound like Sasuke. Why? You can't hide. You couldn't have gone far. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> You're a fucking bitch! You couldn't have gone far. <laughs> Found you! No! Oh, get on me! I fucking hate you, Joseph. You suck. <laughs> you can't hide. Get off me. Get off me. You couldn't have gone far. <laughs> Fuck is wrong with Joseph? I 
knew you weren't one of us. <laughs> Get off me. Oh. Joseph! Why are you making me do this? Damn it, Joseph! You should have just stayed out of the way. Are there sins you are ashamed of? The fuck? I was just sleeping. Yeah, yeah, that that was it. I, I didn't kill anyone. Oh. I have a gun. Well, I don't use gun because it's useless. Wait a second. This house. No, it can't be. What? How oh, fuck am I chasing after this boy? God? Miss mm. Kidman, please tell me about your family. Next subject. No. We've prolonged this talk for a while now. It's important for our understanding of you. They never gave a shit. Too caught up in that church of theirs. More like a cult. It was like a punishment. Nothing I ever did was good enough for them. They abused you? No. It was more like neglect. That's why when I just left, they didn't care. They never came looking, they just gave up. And you never went back to them? I did. A couple of years later, they were gone. Everyone was gone. It was like the whole town got up and moved. I should have felt something, but I didn't. And how do you feel about it now? The same. They can rot for all I care. It was strange, though. There's a statue in the center of town an angel with its head in its hands. I used to just stare at it when I was young, thinking it was sad. But now, I felt like even that statue knew how pitiful life was there. What a terrible place. Oh, okay. So we learned a little bit about Kidman. She had shit parents. It's cool. Not cool in the general sense, she, I bet she, you know, she felt some type of way, but you know. It's kind of cool. No? Not even my ninja skills? Leslie! Leslie! Yeah, Leslie! Leslie! Come here! Leslie! stare up at the statue lit up in the center of town. It looked like it was crying for all the wasted life in that place. Oh. Well, I feel like I'm gonna end it here. Um, well, guys, that's the video. Uh, episode, you know, the assignment, DLC 3, you know, episode 3, you know how that is. Um, yeah. Went through some shit, learned about Kidman, learned more about what was going on with Mobius, and um, yeah, now we're chasing Leslie. And um, you're going to see that next episode, episode four. Yeah, so without further ado, I'll see you guys all later. Bye-bye.